Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Bappi Hamed and I'm your host. So guys, I have came up with another amazing video. So in this video, I'm going to uh, show you one amazing resource actually from Meta AI called uh, Segment Anything or you can also call it as SAM model, okay? So what is this SAM model exactly? So here they have already written Segment Anything model. That means SAM, a new AI model from Meta AI that can uh, cut out any object in an image with a single click okay so what does it mean actually i will show you uh, as a practical i think that would be very much clear but uh, first of all i just wanted to tell you uh, something actually uh, i think you have already worked with uh, image segmentation task inside computer vision so whenever you are uh, working with this kinds of image segmentation tasks so the first thing actually we need to prepare the data right and uh, for preparation of the data what i need to do i just need to do the annotation of the data and uh, for this actually what we perform, we perform something called masking annotation, okay, we'll be doing something called polygon annotation. I think you have seen like what is polygon annotation, if you don't know how to do uh, image segmentation, so you can go ahead uh, with my YouTube channel and here actually I already created uh, some of the video regarding this uh, image segmentation as you can see. Uh, image segmentation with the help of YOLO V8. Okay, so there actually I already showed you how to perform annotation and all. So you can check out that particular video. I think uh, this part would be very much clear. Okay, so make sure you are watching that video. Then after that, you can come here. If you don't know about segmentation, what is segmentation exactly? Just go ahead and watch that particular video. Okay, so uh, there actually uh, you saw like uh, we have to do the annotation of those data okay manually we just we just need to create that polygon boxes manually what is polygon boxes it is more than uh, four points okay we call it as polygon boxes whenever we used to do object detection so what we used to do we used to perform something called bounding box annotation okay and inside bounding box annotation we just need to create a box okay we, we need to create a box but whenever we are uh, considering this uh, masking okay so that actually you need to create the polygon points okay with the help of this polygon points actually you can do the masking okay i think you have used something called photoshop so in photoshop i think you use something called lasso tool so so guys uh, let me show you the lasso tool so here i can write uh, lasso tool uh, photoshop okay so here you will see the example actually see guys this is the lasso tool now uh, let me give you one example like how this lasso tool works let's say uh, yeah this uh, example i can take let's say you want to actually select this particular cow okay from this image actually so what you need to do you can select this lasso tool and manually you just need to uh, carefully select this particular object okay and you will see it will take lots of time right because you need to create uh, small small uh, points and you need to connect them and uh, at the end actually you can select that particular object okay the same way we can uh, perform these kinds of masking annotation okay we have some tools actually let me show you so uh, we have something called label okay label uh, me okay so there is a tool called label me so with the help of this label me actually you can do this kinds of polygon annotation let me show you so let me open the label me official github label me github so first of all uh, let me show you what is the difficulty level actually we face usually during data annotation uh, then actually i can uh, show you uh, okay why you should use this sam model so here uh, guys if you see this is the official uh, like github of this label me okay and uh, this is the label uh, label me ai from this organization they have released this particular tool and here if you see guys uh, you can do something called polygon annotation okay so here you have different different objects so here you can select that particular object uh, but for this actually you just need to set up this particular tool so let me set up this particular tool so i'll open my um, I'll open my folder. So here I already collected some of the image for you. So this is the crack image actually if you see. So here is the actually wall and these are the crack actually on the wall. Okay, as you can see these are the crack. Okay, so now see why I have taken this crack actually image because I want to show you because let's say you want to uh, do like uh, a crack segmentation. So it will segment out this particular crack from this wall. Okay, so definitely first of all you just need to do the masking annotation here and I will show you what is the difficulty you will face uh, whenever you will be doing these kinds of annotation. Okay, uh, if you are using this kinds of label me or any other let's say uh, annotation tool. Okay, but after that I will show you with the help of the SAM model and you will see it would be very easy for you only just one click you can do the entire annotation okay so this is the like uh, comparison i just wanted to show you because uh, if you're working in a field of computer vision so definitely data annotation would be like very headache task so that's why so that's why i'm exploring these are the tool and i'm uh, creating a video on top of it so that uh, you can get to know okay these are the tools are available and it will uh, make our task very easy okay so these are the image actually i downloaded uh, i just only downloaded i think four images okay but you should have let's say 
like very uh, huge amount of images here whenever you are trying to do any kinds of projects but just for the demo i just kept four images here okay now what uh, what i will do here i will open up my terminal and uh, make sure you have created one virtual environment so i already have virtual environment so i'll just use that particular environment so i'll just write conda uh first of all let me see conda env uh, list okay how many environment i'm having here now guys here if you see i am having different different environments so i'll be just uh, picking up one environment from here so i'll just write conda activate okay let's take this one summary this one i think i created so this environment i will be taking okay now after that you just need to set up this particular level uh, me tool there and to set up it actually th they have already given the command and everything so see they are telling first of all create an environment then activate it then you just need to execute this particular command okay pip install level me so let me install it Uh, so guys as you can see my uh, installation is done now what i will do uh, i'll just try to see the command actually to open this particular uh, this label me so they have already given the command so you just need to uh, execute label me from the terminal okay so let me open up my uh, folder and here is my terminal so here i'll just write label okay label me so this is the command you just need to execute so if you uh, execute this particular command so it will open up uh, your label me actually here so let me show you so it will open up one ui for you and this is the ui look like okay so this is the ui look like now here what you need to do first of all you just need to open your data directory okay so let me just click here and i have my data inside this crack image okay so i'll open this particular directory once you open this particular directory you will see it will automatically load the image for you okay so now uh, here what you need to do you just need to perform this polygon annotation okay before training the model definitely you just need to uh, annotate the data as you did in your object detection but object detection you just need to create a bounding box okay and it's like very easy to create a bounding box but whenever but uh, whenever i'm talking about polygon so definitely it would be very much uh, difficult for you so see to create the polygon just uh, select this particular create polygon uh, like uh, tool here now after clicking on this polygon okay create polygon you will see uh, this is the actually uh, interface you will get and it looks like okay uh, your lasso tool now just zoom this image okay so if you just uh, rotate your wheel so it will zoom the image and you can uh, see the image okay carefully now here you just need to start the annotation see now just create a point uh, again create a point again a create point okay now the smaller step you will be taking the more perfect your annotation would be see okay so that's how you need to complete for all the uh, crack you can see on this image okay and it's like very time taking okay see guys it's very time taking so you just need to do the manual observation and carefully you just need to segment this particular uh, crack okay from this wall now once it is done you can also go up again you can start so let me do it, do it quickly because i just wanted to only show you but whenever you are doing your annotation make sure you are doing it perfectly okay Otherwise, uh, you won't be getting good performance from the model. So always make sure uh, the more good you will be doing the data annotation, the more good performance you will be getting from your model. Okay. So see guys uh, here, uh, I'm just doing the masking. Okay. That means I'm creating the polygon here uh, on top on top of my uh, object. I want to segment. See, once it is done, I'll just add this particular point. And here it is asking for the label okay so here i can assign it as this is a crack okay this is a crack and okay so once it is done see it is completed now this is for one image now you can again go to the next image okay so first of all you need to save it so let, let me save so once you can save so inside uh, crack actually it will save then you, you can go to the next image okay then again you can select this particular create po uh, polygon again you can start uh, like doing the annotation see that's how actually let's say you have thousand images okay now just consider how much time actually it will take okay so how much time it will uh, take uh, uh, from you actually to annotate the data so definitely you should uh, you should have a bigger team actually to complete that particular thousand images okay this is not possible for one person so that's why it's like very uh, hard task okay in uh, image segmentation image segmentation task inside computer vision so that's why actually this research actually came okay this research actually came so they created one uh, amazing model called uh, segment anything model and you can also call it as sam 
and it can cut out any object from any image, okay? So as you can see, they're telling Sam is a promptable segmentation, okay? System with zero shot generalization to unfamiliar objects and image without uh, the needs for the additional training. So you don't even need to perform additional training of this model. It can almost segment out any kinds of object, okay? From any kinds of image, okay? So I'll show you, I'll show you the demo. So here they have given different, different demo. As you can see, you can click on that demo and you can check out like they have given different different demo uh, and you can uh, try it out but the easiest demo actually i will show you uh, with the help of roboflow okay so roboflow actually recently collaborated with this particular sam okay so um, so uh, roboflow uh, developer team what they did actually they actually worked uh, on this uh, uh, like sam model and they actually integrated this sam model uh, with their uh, roboflow actually uh, this uh, platform okay so let me show you how to use this so first of all try to sign in okay try to sign in with your roboflow account um, i think i already created some of the video like how to use and all okay different different uh, like actually uh, tools you can use from the roboflow and it's amazing okay if you are working in the field of computer vision so it's amazing actually platform you can use okay done now i'll again create a new project just make sure you are uh, naming this project so i'll just give crack crack uh, segmentation uh, select instance segmentation and here you can give the annotation group so it's crack and create a project so once you created the project now you need to upload the data so i have already my data here so let me just upload them so here you can drag and drop so it will upload all the images here okay fine let's take two images only now here what i will do i'll just uh, click on save and continue Okay, see it has came here. Now it is asking for assigning uh, the image, okay, for the annotation if you have different teammates. So I don't have any teammates, so I'll assign me. Then after that, I will start the annotation. Now see guys, you will get this kinds of interface. Now you can start uh, doing the annotation. Now guys, here, instead of selecting this polygon, okay, polygon uh, tool, I think this is the same polygon tool I think I showed you, okay, from this example. So you can uh, use this particular tool to the, do the manual actual annotation. But I won't be using this polygon tool. Instead of that, I will be using this smart polygon, okay? And it is telling uh, this smart polygon uses an in intelligence uh, assistant, okay? To draw your polygon, uh, click the uh, center of your object, uh, then keep uh, clicking to add or sub uh, uh, subtract area, okay? So this is the smart uh, polygon. And by uh, in the backend actually on this smart polygon uh, actually tool, they're using this particular SAM model. Okay, they're using this particular SAM model. So uh, actually Roboflow developer team, they integrated SAM model with this particular tool. Okay, and they created this smart polygon. Now, if I se select this smart polygon, so I'll just going with the standard because if you uh, select the enhance, so it will take some time to load the model. Enhance is the like very good model. Uh, like it works actually better than your standard. So I'll be uh, by default selecting the standard because I want to show you the quick annotation. Uh, so i selected this particular smart polygon so let's take this this uh, image actually okay so this image is a little bit clear so i'll be uh, showing this image now here let's say if i click here okay i just click just one okay see uh, one uh, point i just added here and see it has done the entire segmentation for me okay it has created entire mask for me only just one particular click i have done now i'll just click uh, another click okay see i'll do the another click and it will uh, complete i think so if it is not then again you can delete it and you can try uh, see done now again just uh, click here see again click here so see the more complex actually your object would be so you just need to take a smaller step that time and it will complete the segmentation for you see guys so i have just done the few click okay and my entire uh, segmentation is ready okay entire segmentation is ready now, if you want to accept it, just click on finish enter and give the annotation a group. Okay, so this is crack and I will just save enter. See, it's done. So now see guys, uh, I think you saw the difference between this uh, SAM model and your manual annotation. So in manual annotation, we, so in manual annotation, I think you saw we have already done, we have already spent lots of time to do uh, the annotation for just one particular image. Okay, but whenever I'm using this particular SAM model, uh, Okay, using just a few click actually I can uh, complete my annotation and again this crack is like very uh, complex uh, actually object okay that's why uh, you need some few clicks but let's say whenever you are having some different object let's say you want to segment out horse dogs or anything let's say fruits cars anything so only just one click if you do on that particular object it will segment out entire objects okay see they have already given the demo visual demo 
See guys, they've already given the visual demo, see, okay? Only just you need to do one click and it will do the segmentation for you. See, only one click and it will segment entire object for you, okay? So that's how actually you can try with different data. I have shown you uh, with the help of this crack because I just wanted to show you what is the difficulties actually you will face whenever you will be implementing these kinds of complex project, okay? Now, what you can do, you can select a next image, okay? Let's say this is my next image and you can also do, do it for this image. So see guys, this is my next image, so I'll just click here. So first of all, it will segment out. Now I'll just go a smaller step because here is the complex actually path. Now I'll just click here. Uh, see guys, okay. If you just uh, take a smaller step, so beautifully it will segment out this particular crack. Now I'll go this side. Again, I'll go this side. Mm, again, this side. Again, this side. Okay, done. Now I will just assign the label finish enter. Again, it's a crack, save enter, it's done. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, if you see, I have completed all the images. I am only having two images, so it is completed. Now what I will do, I will go back. Okay, I will go back and I can add these uh, images to my data set and add images. I think I showed you like how to save the images. Okay. Uh, after doing the annotation already, I showed you in my previous video, uh, auto image annotation, uh, I think uh, here. Okay, here I already used actually overflow annotation. There actually I showed you how to save this particular image, okay? After that, you can create a version. So here I can create a version or here what I can do. Uh, yeah, I can create a version. Then after that, if you want, you can uh, perform some pre-processing step. Okay, I'll just continue. I don't want to perform augmentation. I don't want to perform. Then I'll just finally create my image. Okay, see, I'll be creating the image. Then my image is ready. Now what you can do actually, uh, you can export this particular data set. Now here you can uh, uh, like uh, select the format, like uh, which uh, framework you will be using to the uh, like uh, segmentation task, you can select and you can download the zip file. If you just click on continue, it will download the zip file. Either you can use uh, one code snippet and you can also download the image, okay? It is also possible, okay? So now guys, see, with the help of this SAM model, okay, segment anything model, you can perform this kinds of segmentation annotation, okay? Uh, like in a very good way, okay, you can in a very good way in a short period of time only uh, using some few clicks. If your uh, object is very complex, then you should uh, use few clicks. But if it is like a very uh, actually clear object, like this kinds of horse or uh, fruits or anything, so definitely only one click, okay, you can also do the annotation, okay, it is also possible. So yes, guys, I hope you like this particular video. If you have liked this particular video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. And please uh, hit on the like button, okay. Uh, and you can let me know what kinds of video actually you want from me. Okay. So I'll try to create that particular video. Okay. So only just need to support my channel. Okay. That's it. I think guys, uh, this is all from my side. I uh, already explained this seg uh, segment anything um, actually model. Okay. In future, actually, I'll just bring some projects on top of it. So I'll uh, try to bring one end to end projects. Okay. This uh, uh, segmentation related projects. Okay. There actually I'll show you uh, how to create a pipeline and all okay if you want this kinds of video from my side so please support my channel please subscribe to my channel okay so that i can uh, show you this other implementation so yes guys uh, thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time